Today we're going to make a carrot favor box. This is a no glue project. So all you're going to need are your pieces cut out, the SVG file. Um, the first carrot I made, I made an orange. I like my vegetables to be diverse. So the second one I'm making a yellow carrot. And you're also going to need a pair of scissors and a little bit of ribbon to tie the box closed. You want to start off with your big yellow piece. And we're going to basically make a cone out of this. So I start by rolling it and getting some creases in there going around. You don't want to do hard creases, just a gentle rolling motion should do the trick. Now we have these little tabs and you may be looking at it wondering how do you get that tab into that hole because it's smaller you are going to take the sides of each tab and fold them in. I prefer this tab because it creates a more permanent lock so it doesn't pop open when the box is in use. Now this first one is the hardest, but I usually start with this one because if you can get the hardest one in, the rest will be a breeze. So you're just going to push that tab, making sure this curls under, push it in, and those edges will pop open once it's in. You might need to put your hand up in there. That one's in. I didn't even think about it, but it might be easier actually if you fold these tabs so that those are on the outside. That way you can push them in as you go. You've got to flatten them down to get it in, but then after you push it through, they pop right out, locking the box closed. All right, and on the front, we have a nice looking carrot. Now we're gonna put the uh, green tops in. So you're gonna grab each of these, and just as you did the box, you're gonna fold those tabs in like this and like this. So they look like that. And working from outside to inside, you're gonna push them in one at a time. one here and you can open it up so they go in like that okay now I'll just do my others and you may want to rotate so that the tops aren't facing the same way every time you might want to flip some over so that they're mirrored but you're just gonna work your way around and pop those all in. our last one here push that in and now our box looks kind of like this with the tops will be kind of flopping down you can fill it in with whatever you want if you want to fill it with candy or maybe confetti whatever you're using it for and then once you have it filled you're just gonna flip all the tops up like this pull it together with your hand like so take your ribbon
and tie a nice gentle bow around there. I tie a knot first and then make the bow. However you make a bow is perfectly fine. I like to pull my ends down a little, get a nice shape. And then I just use the scissors to trim off my ends. And there you go. You have some beautiful carrot favor boxes that you can use for Easter party or maybe just a summer garden party, whatever you want. Great little unique favor boxes.